So probably in our next uh, couple of videos, including this one, we are going to cover up some of the submitting uh, questions which you can expect in your examinations. Probably if you are if you are facing some interviews or in the examinations, you will find some submitting questions and how to answer them, how to approach for the answer. So I'm going to cover up some of the possible questions here. Uh, we'll see more on detail on that. Okay. So even even understanding this shortcut, all the calculations are very important if you want to understand your network. Let's take an example. I got a device. I got a computer assigned with this IP address here. Now I want to understand uh, what is the range of addresses used in my production network, and what is the network ID for that if I want to advertise them in my routing protocols, and how many subnets I will get if I do FLSM. So probably these kind of questions will will definitely come in your mind and if you want to understand the subnets or if you you just need to understand the calculations here so i got a question here i got one simple address 210.10.145 slash 26 so what exactly i want is i got some couple of questions here subnet mask how to find the subnet mask uh, what is the subnet mask or how many hosts per subnet and if i do flsm how many subnets we get and also the questions can be asked like what what is the network id for this address and what is the broadcast id for this address so let's try to figure out uh, how to do this so whatever the formulas i'm going to use it's going to be the same calculations what we have learned in our step-by-step -step methods okay so first i'll try to find out the subnet mask now for all your answers the clue is here this is the clue for all your answers the slash value or subnet mask now here i got a slash value of 26 now we already did some exercises on how to find the subnet mask here so we need to write 8 bits 8 bits 8 bits 8 is 24 24 plus 2 28 so if you're going to add 8 bits like we did some exercises uh, if you add 8 bits it will be 255 and if you add uh, 2 bits it will be 192 so which means the subnet mask will be 255 dot 255 dot and then 255 dot and 2 bits if you add how much it will be 192 so you got your answer 255 255 255 192 is your answer here so finding the subnet mask is pretty easy because we did some exercises in our previous section so we don't have any problem in doing that let's try to figure out the next question how many host per subnet i get now which means how many valid host addresses or how many devices i can connect in this particular network now to find this uh, when you are, when i'm doing these exercises i suggest you to open up the c class example if you remember in our c class the first example we did with a requirement of 50 host i think 50 or 40 host please you can you can just open up that example you will find all the answers in that example because I'm going to use the same example but this time I'm not going to do step by step method so so to find the host per subnet we need to remember the formula if you remember the formula what is the formula we use to the power of h minus 2 right greater than or equal requirement so to the power of h minus 2 is the size of the network so which means here if i figure out if i find the h value i know the answer so how to find the h value so our job here is to find the h value now what is the h value what is the h value now to find the h value again the clue is this one you can see this slash 26 the slash 26 represents your what it represents it represents your network bits right so which means i know the network bits i need to find the host bits so it's very easy total bits how many network plus host is equal to how many it's going to be 32 and already i know network which means if i want to find the host i'm going to subtract from 32 subtract the 26 how many host bits six so how many host bits here now it's six so let's do the same thing here so to get the host bits we need to subtract from 32 if i subtract this 26 value i get the host bits so this is how we find out the host bits okay so so what's the formula now use this formula to the power of 6 minus 2 
so 64 minus 2 how much 62 is your valid host per subnet so what's the answer how many hosts per subnet we get here so 62 is the answer here okay so this is how we calculate uh, this is how we calculate the host per subnet so the main thing you need to remember the formula and you need to you need to know how many host bits how many network bits how many converted bits to get all your answers so let's go ahead and try to calculate the remaining things so the first thing i'm going to figure out how many subnets we get how many subnets okay to find the subnets we need to know the formula if you remember we used a formula of 2 to the power of n whereas this n is your converted network bits converted n bits so whereas n is your converted network bits now to find the converted network bits again we need to take the help of slash value here so the slash value is 26 now to find the converted network bits the slash value is 26 so which means which class it is it's my C class so now because 210 comes in the range of C class so slash 26 and this C class contains how many default network bits how many default 24 right C class contains 24 8 24 network bits and 8 host bits so extra bits how many I got 2 so which means 2 to the power of 2 how much 4 subnets so we just need to find how many converted bits so to find this I am going to take the slash value of 26 and then and by default there are 24 network bits and 2 gets converted now this is my converted n bits 2 is my converted n bits so I am going to take this 2 here 2 to the power of 2 so I am going to take this 2 value here and I am going to apply here 2 to the power of 2 so it's going to be 4 subnets so if I divide if I divide my network in a size of 64 right size of 64 I get 64 into 4 how many subnets I get 256 if you check the first example of the C class we got exactly the same calculations we did over there but the only difference is in this example in the subnetting bits subnetting questions we are doing according to our requirement so we, we are not going directly step by step we are going as per our requirement here so let us solve the next question if the question is asked what is the network id and what is the broadcast id so that is what my next question uh, network id and the broadcast id so to find the network id and the broadcast id we need to know how to write the range so writing the range is very important so the range always written based on to the power of h value so the range to the power of h value and what is the h value here to the power of 6 right so 64 is the size of network where I got 6 if you remember in my previous examples we have already calculated the h value h value 6 we did that already if we didn't do that then from total bits if I subtract the network bits I will get my host bits so again by seeing this slash value I can figure out that so we did already that so from that I I am directly saying that the h value is 6 and the size of the network is 64 so now we need to write the range so the range is 0 to 63 is one network right and 64 plus 64 plus 64 so which means uh, 64 to 127 is one network 128 to 191 and 192 to 255 so now this is the range I'm just writing only the fourth portion now we need to see our address what is our address 145 now this 145 comes in between which two addresses so if you see here 145 comes in between in between 128 to 191 which means which means this 128 is my network id the first three portions will be the same what is in the question and 191 will be my broadcast id okay so so my network id in the broadcast it will be 128 is a network id 191 is a broadcast id because my address whatever is given in the question it comes in between 128 to 191 okay so whatever the address i have what is the address 
145 comes in between the range of these two addresses these two so this is 128 is my network id okay so let me write down here this is my network id 128 is my network id and 191 is my broadcast id so the answer will be let me write down a little bit fair network id will be uh, what are the first three portions first three portions remains the same no changes so 210.10.145 okay so .10 .10 which means the first three portions will be 210.10.10 .10 and the network id will be 128 as per my calculation this is my network id and the broadcast id will be 210.10.10.191 will be my broadcast id okay and the slash value will be slash 26 slash 26 okay so this is how you need to figure out the answers based on the calculations so it's all the same calculations what we have done in our basic step-by-step -step flsm examples but when it comes to uh, when it's come to answering your questions you need to you need to remember three things generally we need to just remember what you need to find out what is the slash value or the subnet mask because to get all your answers this will help you and then we need to remember what is the class it is so based on that class we need to see how many default network bits how many default bits we have how many converted how many total so if you have a clear picture of the bits and we need to remember the formulas whatever the formulas we use we use in our calculations if you if you just remember the formulas you can figure out the answers so if you if you master step by step method of subnetting probably this look very easy for you so this is how we need to answer the questions if you come across in your certification exams generally